you can clearly see the issue of this 2019 Frenner Cascadia. This is a newer body Frenner Cascadia with a manual transmission. It doesn't um, apply any gear. It goes to neutral under any condition. You release the clutch, as you could see previously on the video, and it doesn't do absolutely nothing. So, luckily, was able to come over here, and today I'm going to show you what was the cause of the issue. And um, if you have a manual transmission, it's pretty much the same problem that you are going to get in all these uh, trucks with manual transmission. It doesn't matter if you have a KW, a Peterbilt, a International, or a Freilander in this case. And it doesn't matter the year. The issue is going to be pretty similar, and it is just because there is no much attention than was um, paid to the transmission. And I'm going to show you the damage of the transmission. The transmission on this uh, 2019 Cascadia is already replaced. This truck is running again, but I'm going to show you how it looks after we open it. So that way you can see how it got damaged and why it got damaged. Here is the transmission that was removed from the Cascadia. And we can clearly see the damage right here. Here uh, is the main damage. That gear is completely bolt doesn't have any teeth at all um, and this is caused because of the transmission was running with low oil it's a very common problem that happens to manual transmission when a manual transmission doesn't have enough oil lacks of lubrication this gear right here the freeze one is one of the main ones to suffer a damage but any of these other gears can suffer a damage depending on the problem that you're getting and the reason why the only uh, this gear was the only one working because when we put the gear, this is the, the synchronizer right here, and see, we are getting, we are applying movement because this is the only one that is functional, see, because these other ones right here are not getting any type of movement, so if I apply the lower gear right here, um, they are very sharp very hard to get on but let's apply the other one right here see in case of this one it's in see this one and this one doesn't do any type of motion because we are not getting mechanical transfer movement from this gear to these other gears see and that's the reason why this doesn't move at all in any other gear um, when you put freeze free bears or any other gear it was in completely neutral because there was no movement through the gears right here. This was the only one that was allowing the vehicle to move forward because it was uh, getting the synchronization right here and the transfer directly to the dry shaft of the vehicle. And um, as I said before, this problem happened because of lack of lubrication. Um, the owner of this um, truck never checked the oil level and probably this happened way before the damage was present and um so even though then they could just open the transmission and add fluid to the transmission probably the damage was already done to the transmission so eventually the transmission was going to break because of the low level of fluid inside the transmission so to prevent this issue, all you have to do is to be sure to check your level, the transmission level all the time, or every time you service your transmission. For example, if you are going to replace the clutch, um, may be sure to replace the transmission fluid is very important and actually be sure to have the level. And when you are doing um, a level inspection on your Cascadia or any vehicle with manual transmission, be sure the transmission is on a level surface because when the transmission is in an uneven um, position, the level can be grown or can be overfilled or it can be low. So it's better to always position the vehicle in a level surface every time you are going to inspect or check your transmission level. Or you are going to fill it too in case you are going to replace the transmission fluid be sure that this is in a level surface because this it is just by gravity that's that's the reason why it's very important to
to have that on mind if you uh, for any reason you are going to replace your transmission fluid be sure that the transmission is in a, the vehicle in total is in a level surface and then you're going to get the right level but it is just a, an advice for all of you that are planning to do this or to avoid this issue so if you're any reason you are buying a truck any type of truck that has a manual transmission be sure to check your transmission level fluid level because this is going to prevent so many issues like this one it is a uh, problem was going to cause depending where you are buying the transmission going to cost from uh, let's say two thousand dollars all the way to five thousand dollars depending on the transmission cost and who is going to perform the job because all the labor varies depending where it's going to be um, performed and um, the cost of this labor but um, see uh, we have here the clear example of the damage of a transmission being run with no oil and um, there is a uh, very limited things to do right now with this damage uh, we cannot uh, remove all the gears of the transmission because it's going to be super expensive to do this and uh, the best way was just to replace it with a used one and that's how this um, truck got back to the road and um, soon it's going to go to work and uh, that's pretty much about it on this one of course then after this it's very important for the owner of this truck then he has to pay attention to the transmission fluid and the transmission level in this case right now it has a brand new transmission fluid which is going to be great but also mean then over the time the transmission can leak fluid here and there or it can overheat and stuff like that and that is the reason why to it's very important to pay attention to the transmission fluid and uh, that's something that not most people pay, pay attention especially on manual transmissions because you have to go underneath and actually open the plug and if you wonder where is the plug to inspect the transmission fluid it is right here this plug right here this is where you inspect it you open it with a half inch dry ratchet and as soon as you open it you send your finger and if you can touch it with your tip that means then the fluid is in a in the gray in the greatest level but if you insert your finger all the way down here and you can barely touch it that means that it is low and you have to refill it that's how you're gonna know when it is time to add fluid or all the level is fine e either way i mean if your truck has over over, over 500,000 miles it is better to replace the fluid because over 500,000 miles there is a lot of debris there is a lot of stuff that can be trapped in the fluid and replacing the fluid can actually prevent so many issues that can be present once uh, this is running over the road but here i have this uh, video about this transmission 10 speed transmission this cascadia is one of the rare cascadias to have manual transmissions but as i said before this problem can be present to all trucks doesn't matter what's the year what's the model as long as they have a manual transmission this can be the same issue because of the low level fluid the transmission fluid a low level it, it does a lot of stuff to the engine to the transmission to differentials if the level is not right it will be a problem so if you have any questions comment below some of you have experience and details about these problems too some of you work on transmissions too so if that's the case just comment below anything to add any other comment any suggestions any recommendations is always welcome there is always people looking for more information about these problems and if you want to see other things that i'm doing go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube Check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget and like the video.